I remember the days when I would rush home from school, eager to turn on the television and watch my favorite show, The Angel Hair. It was a simple animated series, but it held a special place in my heart. The titular fictional Christian TV show featured two characters, Angel Gabby and friend Francis, who lived together in a peaceful forested woods. Gabby, with her gentle voice and kind demeanor, always corrected Francis's behavior, teaching valuable lessons to the viewers. It was through their exchanges that we learned about forgiveness, kindness, and the importance of faith. The show was a beacon of light in my childhood, guiding me through the ups and downs of life. The tapes of the angel hair existed in two versions. The first was the VHS copy, which I found in a thrift store. It was the home release version, following a standard, child-friendly script. The second version was the VCR recordings, episodes that were taped off television during my childhood. These recordings were special because Gabby addressed me directly as I watched them. The home video episodes were released by Keith Publishing KP, a now-defunct company that bought up old TV shows for redistribution. These tapes did not show signs of Gabby being sentient or aware of the viewer beyond her scripted pauses and responses. It was the intended version of the show, as it was originally written but it was the original episodes, broadcasted during the 1980s, that held a magical quality. They featured a logo for Wreath of Life, an unknown company with no existing records. Somehow, during those live broadcasts, Gabby interacted directly with me. She could see, hear, and respond to my presence. It was as if she was a real angel, guiding me through life's challenges. In episode 6, I made a decision. I wanted to speak to Gabby as I did in my childhood. So. I aired an episode of The Angel Hair on a streaming platform and asked Gabby if she remembered me. To my surprise, I received a direct reply. We communicated this way for some time, and it felt like a reunion with an old friend. But then, in the Easter special, Gabby disappeared. I was devastated. I searched for answers, but there were none to be found. It seemed that Gabby had left my life once again, leaving behind only memories and lessons learned. The Angel Hair was more than just a TV show to me. It was a source of comfort, guidance, and inspiration. It taught me about love, compassion, and the power of faith. Even though Gabby may have disappeared, her teachings will forever remain in my heart. As I look back on those cherished moments, I am grateful for the impact the angel hair had on my life. It was a reminder that even in the darkest times, there is always a glimmer of hope. And perhaps, just perhaps, there are angels among us, guiding us on our journey.